Hello? Oh my god, did you hear? Oh, I'm itching to tell you something. Itching to tell you with Zoe Ryan. Today I'm itching to tell you about the importance of wearing SPF and UV protective clothing if you use steroids to treat your psoriasis. We should be wearing sun cream every single day, regardless of if the sun is shining or not, because even on a cloudy day, the sun's rays can damage our skin. But if you use steroid applications on your skin, it's essentially important you pay particular attention to those areas when applying your sun cream. The reason for that being how steroid applications work to treat your psoriasis. Our skin is made up of layers, and where you have patches of psoriasis, there is a buildup of layers. Steroids work to break down those layers, and an unavoidable side effect of that is that they thin your skin. This causes photosensitivity. That's when your skin is more sensitive to the sun's rays. And that's why it's so important that you pay particular attention to those areas when applying your sun cream, because they're more susceptible to damage from the sun. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor and reflects the effectiveness of a sun cream. The number on the bottle indicates how long it would take for the sun's rays to redden your skin. For example, if you're using an SPF 15, it means that your skin won't burn for 15 times as long as it would without sun cream on it. When looking for a good sunscreen, always look for one with a UVA stars marking. That represents a marking of quality. Now the best ones are the ones with four to five UVA stars. Five is the highest you can get and that gives ultra protection. Four is a superior protection and three is good. I always try to get ones that are four and five. I never like to go any lower than that. What a lot of people struggle with is gauging how much sun cream they should actually be using for it to be effective. It's recommended that you use two fingers of sun cream on your face and neck. So that's a good way to estimate how much you should be using on the rest of your body. I tend to use different sun creams for my face for different reasons. So my favorite for wearing underneath foundation is actually from Penny's or Primark and it's called Sensitive Face Cream. It's plus 50 and it has a UVA star rating of superior, so four stars. So, you know, that only cost me 350 in pennies. And I honestly find it is the best one for wearing under your foundation because I hate if you have a sun cream underneath your foundation and it starts kind of coming through your foundation throughout the day and getting really oily and you have to top up your powder. So this one I find has a nice matte finish to it but it doesn't dry out your skin at the same time. So definitely my favorite so far for wearing underneath foundation and only 350 in pennies. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, she picked up a sun cream in pennies. How does she know it's of good quality? Well, the reason why I picked it up is because I saw the star rating on it of four. So I knew it was a really good one. And it also, I picked it up because it has a couple of additives in it like Q10, hyaluronic acid and different vitamins. And I find that my skin is quite dry. So I was looking for a sun cream that had a little bit of moisture in it. So I picked it up by chance one day and cannot be without it now. If I'm not wearing makeup over my sun cream, so for the days where I'm not wearing foundation, this is my go-to one. And it's actually Boots own brand called Sultan. That was only four euro in Boots. As I said, it's their own brand. It's got a UVA rating of ultra. So that's the highest you can get. It's five stars plus 50 protection. And as I said, only four euro. So it just shows that to find a good sun cream, it doesn't have to cost the earth. I know there's a lot of sun creams out there that are quite expensive. And there are a couple of the more expensive ones that I do want to get my hands on to try them out to see what all the kerfuffle is about. But this one, cheap, cheerful, and really good. Why I like it on the days that I'm not wearing makeup is yet again, it doesn't leave like a shiny residue on your skin. It's quite matte. So I think that it just is a nice coverage to your skin, that it just makes your skin look nice and healthy, but yet not shiny. So that's why I would pick that one as my favorite for when I'm not wearing foundation. Another good one is one by Ombre Solaire and it's the Sensitive Advance, yet again, plus 50. And it's got a star rating of ultra. The reason why I tend to go with plus 50s on my face is that 
do you know the way I think it the higher the factor the better and it's underneath my foundation and I'm not going for a suntan even if I could tan which is bad for your skin anyways I've red hair and really sensitive skin and then of course with the psoriasis so I'm not the person that's going out there who wants to be putting on oil and factor six to get a tan and as well as that what I like about this is it's not really white and pasty you know the way some sun creams that can kind of give you like a ghost like effect on your face that you're really pale whereas this one doesn't um it's a nice consistency that it kind of goes into your skin really well now the reason why i pick it as my number two to go to if i'm not wearing foundation and why I don't tend to wear it underneath foundation is it has quite a shiny look to it, but not too shiny and it's not sticky. It has a nice feel when it goes onto your skin. It's a little shiny, so I don't like it as much as I do the Boots Own brand Sultan one, which is more of a matte finish, but it gives your skin a nice dewy, healthy look. So if you do like a little bit of shine, this one is a great one to go for. And it ranges at around between four and six euro, so around five euro in Boots generally, and it is in any pharmacy. And then the last one I actually picked up by complete random chance. I was out in Aldi one day and I'm always really interested when I'm in the supermarkets like Aldi and Lidl to be looking at their own brand ones. And I really like Lidl, but what lets me down about Lidl, 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 sorry, where I'm from, we pronounce it as Lidl, but I know that the correct pronunciation is Lidl. So forgive me if I accidentally say Lidl. Um, so yeah, what I what I'm disappointed about about the Lidl sun creams is that I always check for the UVA star rating on them and I haven't found one yet that has it, which really lets me down because I'd love to be supporting Lidl. But anyways, went out to Aldi and their own brand, La Cura. Yet again, think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna say La Cura. Um, they had a couple of different sun creams out there. So I just picked up this little one. It's SPF 30, still high, not 50. As I said, I prefer getting 50 for your face, but 30, still really good. Um, and it had the UVA star rating of five, which is the highest you can get. So that's why I picked this one up. And as if that wasn't good enough, I think, it was priced at maybe one or two euro, but it was on special offer at the time because I picked it up at the end of summer last year. And so I got it for 68 cents. 68 cents for sun cream. So I picked up two bottles of it, hoping it was good. And it's actually a really good one for wearing underneath your foundation because as it doesn't have a high kind of shine content in it. It's also really nice for wearing without makeup as well, but it would definitely be the one that I'd go to for wearing underneath my foundation if I didn't have my pennies one, which I ran out of at one stage last year with the lockdown and I couldn't get it. So picked this one up instead and was really impressed by it. 68 cents in Aldi. Wearing SPF is not the only way to protect your skin from the sun's rays. Clothing is deemed the most effective form of protection against the sun rays, but not all clothing is made equal. Some fabrics and colors are better at protecting your skin from the sun's rays than others. The thicker the fabric, the better the protection. Denim is the best, but you're not going to be walking around in the beaming sun wearing denim head to toe. So, to check a fabric's sun safety level, simply hold it up to the light, and if you can see through it, that means that the sun's rays can get through the fabric and reach your skin. Dark and brightly coloured clothes are preferable as they absorb UV rays. Shiny polyesters and silks also reflect UV rays. Loosely fitting clothes are better than a tight fit because if a material is stretched, it can let through more light. Hats are great for blocking out the UV rays and protecting your face, neck and ear area. Especially if you're like me and apply steroid applications to the psoriasis on your face, behind your ears and down along the back of your neck. It's recommended that you use a hat with a rim of at least three centimeters so that you get some good coverage. The skin around our eyes and on our eyelids is quite thin and as a result, it's also sensitive to the sun's rays. So you should be wearing protective sunglasses. Now, let's talk UV protective clothing. There are some items of clothing and accessories that are made from material that is designed to protect your skin from the sun. I want to bring your attention to Manny Safe London's UV protective gloves. These gloves are designed to protect your hands from UV rays. The skin on our hands is quite thin to begin with, so if you use steroid-based applications on your hands, you should be wearing UV protective gloves when driving, getting gel or shellac manicures, and when doing outdoor activities such as cycling. 
You might think it's strange that I'm suggesting that you wear these gloves when driving, but even though the windscreens are usually treated to protect you from the UV rays, the side, back and sunroof windows generally aren't. The same applies for public transport. Usually the windows on buses, trains and planes aren't treated to protect you against the UV rays. Similarly, if you're getting a gel or shellac manicure, the lamps that are used to cure the nail polish also emit UV rays, the same rays that are emitted by the sun. And yes, the gloves are suitable to wear when getting a manicure because even though they protect the majority of your hand, your fingertips are left exposed so that the nail polish can still be cured. I did see other brands online selling UV protective gloves but these ones just look like the most legit to me and of the best quality. What I love about them is that they're so slick. They literally just mould to your hand to fit it perfectly. They're so lightweight and the material feels really luxurious. You can feel the quality in them. I've quite slender hands and I was afraid that maybe the material will be baggy on my hands, which I really hate, but it actually perfectly fits your hand. I actually ordered them in a couple of different prints. So I ordered this one for myself. It's called the Big Smoke and it's just a plain black because I think you just can't go wrong with black. I picked up the Mayfair for my mom. It's so stylish. It's kind of like a leopard print. And I ordered this fun floral print, which is called Soho for one of my friends who's absolutely gel manicure obsessed like myself. For more information on them, such as what styles they come in and pricing, you can check out Manny Safe London's website. If you'd like to find out more information about protecting the skin that you apply steroid applications to, you can check out my social media channels. Till next week. For more information on this topic, check out Itching to Tell You on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And tune in weekly for new episodes. Like, comment and subscribe.